so I've been looking at ways to house all this uh, ephemera and paper that I have and um, because I have a, such a small studio I need all the space that I can get and but basically I have been drowning in paper I just so much of it too much of it and it's just not on anymore it's taken up too much space and it's time to purge so I've been looking on YouTube of ways like storage ideas um, that I can come up with and I've looked at some other people and what they have done and I knew that I needed a, a big book and or a big storage solution and I'm uh, really struggling I was really struggling to find something however what I've ended up doing is this book has been sitting around I have used some of the maps inside for workshops and all that um, and it's also uh, glued as well so I thought maybe I could alter it and use the pages so for instance for example, I would glue together four pages and then take out, say, I think it was eight I decided upon at one point. So I had started doing that and then I kind of realised that that's probably not going to work for me um, just because because I have so much of paper, of the paper and everything and all sorts of bits and pieces this is going to grow quite big and chunky and if I kept the spine the spine is probably about an inch I would say uh, let's see yeah the spine's an inch and I really don't think that's big enough <laughs> so I decided to gut it uh, just roughly I think it's 11 and a half by no 10 and a half by I think it's 14 and a half roughly so it's not quite a3 size just a bit smaller than that and that's a an a3 size piece of card stock so you can see it's not quite quite the same size so that's what I'm going to do so now I'm not a big fan of rings but I'm going to try it out and see if it works and and that way if I have rings it means that the book can get as chunky as it wants to um, and this is going to live in my studio it's not going anywhere because it's it's pretty heavy as it is obviously with the, the text block in it but once it gets filled up with ephemera etc then it will be pretty pretty heavy but as I say it's not going
maybe put some fabric along here just to finish that off and, uh, and then it'll be ready for the hole punching for the rings for the binding. So the covers are dry and what I did was just to take away some of the kind of starkness of uh, the fabric I dabbed it with a tea bag just to give it that kind of vintagey grungy look and I really like it I really do like the effect of it and as you can see the fabric's not precisely cut <laughs> at all and uh, and these are my covers so on to the next stage so these pockets are pretty easy to make uh, you just need card for the back of it and I've made sure that there's enough space here at the sides to when I uh, glue it on and then you just need to make some gussets at the side here uh, and I used the map paper for that from the book and those were roughly my my measurements six and a half millimeters by nine and a half and then I scored it every kind of quarter on my scoreboard so you get that and then you just uh, glue them on I just glued them on with Pritt stick and then I've got some double sided tape along here because the Pritt stick won't stick to this plastic and then I cut the plastic to the same width as the cardboard and what I'm going to do is just fold over about an inch here and that gives you a wee bit more strength for your top part of your pocket and then I'm just going to lay that down here like so so that's you got your pocket and then I'm going to turn it over and fold that there like that Use my bone folder for that and then you want to just double side sticky tape you maybe want two rows but I'll just do one row for the time being and let's make sure that's down and then just take the backing off if I can get it off get these I don't have nails to get these things off and then just fold that on top of that there like that and that's you got your your folder or your your pocket folder um, and 
so as you know maybe some of the these might be just a bit loose and things might fly out um, and you can put in and it still gives you the room because you've got the gusset there but you might want to put a couple of wee brads in there just to hold that down um, but you'll still get you'll still get the room and then you can fold that over if you want to make it a smaller one and do maybe two or three on the same page easy I wanted to talk to you about glue now I've used Fabri-Tac, I used matte gel, I used pet stick and I also used that which is a like a plastic adhesive. None of them worked. I don't know why, I think it's because this paper is quite absorbent and also this is plastic and those glues don't work on this thick plastic. So what I've done is I have just got some and I'm waiting for it to arrive some double sided sticky tape and that's I've used it for these ones it's just this really thin stuff and uh, I'm waiting for more to come so when that arrives I will be able to finish off these these um, pockets and show you. Okay while I'm waiting for my tape I just talk about the boards that I'm using um, to put the pockets on so uh, these are A3 they're 945 GSM and they're grey craft board and there's 30 in a pack and I'll try and link those down in the description box where you can get them I can't remember at the moment so they're slightly bigger than my cover so you can see there the difference so they're slightly smaller the covers than A3 so anyway I have cut down I think it was 10 10 boards and I have painted them with black gesso so they fit nicely into the covers and, and all we need to do now is to do the scary bit <laughs> which is to start to punch holes into the cover um, and if you don't have these types of board you could you could probably use like a cereal box uh, for the for the pages or you could maybe use um the backs of sketchbooks i know that i i keep those so if you had a few of those you could use those because it's the same same sort of thickness as um the backs of sketchbooks maybe a slightly thinner but it's a good a good heavy card but definitely cereal boxes would would do the job definitely you could cover them with some some scrap papers okay I'm measuring for the holes I think I'll do three so the way I even though I, I measured it with the ruler I always get a piece of paper and just check because sometimes um, it's it's easier doing it that way get a piece of paper the same length and then a half it and that gives me the the middle where the middle hole's going to go so I folded it in half the paper and that gives me this, the middle like that see and then I fold it again and I get the middle again so even though it is measured there's always wee anomalies and what I want to do is oh, 
what I want to do is come in half an inch to there so I know that that's the middle and I'm just going to mark that there roughly and again yeah I can always rub these off later and then there and I'll come in half an inch so you use a smaller ruler do we anyway right so in half an inch that's there and same again here because you don't want these holes to be wonky so one a bit closer there and what you know you don't want them to be the wonky at all um so there so now they're ready to be punched <coughs> so i'm using the the big crocodile and i've put so that gives you the big punch there i'm not very good at measuring Okay, so here goes. So, okay, so I've punched that. That was okay. Hopefully it'll be fine. And then what I'm going to do for the back cover is I'll just make sure it's the right way up. And then put that together and make a mark there. And that should match up really well. There we go. So there's one there, one there, one there. And go back to punching. Okay, so they do match up. I can see daylight through, so they match up. Yes, great. Now, all we need to do now is do the same thing on all of these 10 boards and I'll be back after that. Okay, I've got my rings started, so uh, I don't know, I've never done this before. Um, I think this is a one and a half inch ring, I think it is anyway. And it seems to, it will seem to be, yeah, it's about one and a half. Uh, so I'm just going to start putting these on and see how things work out. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Oh, so excited. Yeah. I can't wait to get stuff in it now. I have changed the size of the rings to a bigger one. So it's probably two and a half, two inches. And it doesn't look as good with the big ones. But once I start um, filling this up, then maybe... Maybe it will uh, look all right. Just, I just, I'm not happy with these, but I can't think of another thing to maybe do unless I tie them with some, I don't know, some tie, tie them with some um, fabric. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> we'll see 
how we got on with these first and uh, anyway I came on again just to show you something else um, I also have these sorry for the glare because I've had to put my lights on today it's quite dark and uh, I've got these pockets six pockets small pockets and of course the holes do not tally up with the rings they just don't tally up with the rings so rather than making another another hole I well I'm going to make another hole but I put some I glued some uh, map paper from from the book on this edge here where all the holes have been punched and it just makes it look a bit neater so uh, all I did was um, cut out a strip the same width as this here which is roughly about a quarter inch and I use the Pritt stick this time to glue it down and it actually works all right it actually works really well so I'll do that quickly to show you and then I just place that down like that and then glue the other side Like that, easy, easy peasy. Fold it over, press it down, and there you have a reasonably neat. And I'll just cut off the excess here, and it just covers up all those holes there, like that. And then once that glue has dried, I've just uh, eyeballed really, not really kind of measured it too much. But I have another one there as a as a guide, and all I did was kind of match up the uh, the folder and just made made a line there and there and then just punched punch the hole in the centre and there you have a nice using up the um, you know the fabric not the fabric what am I saying using up the map paper of course as well so you get a twofer for doing that now where's my marks yeah so here and there you want to try and get them straight straight as possible so that you it's not wonky well, we do like wonky, but not that wonkiness. And that should make for a nice, a nice fit. And then also the other thing that I did was I made because because my hands are small, chunky hands. Uh, I would find going into these pockets a bit of a a faff so what I did was I cut because my punch here is too it's too big to slip into there and just have one you know one scallop so it's not that wasn't going to work so all I did was a uh, punch out a piece of card and and just got my sharpie 
and just done a, a wee scallop I halved it in two like that so half half a circle and then from the half just up to the top of the pocket there measure with your eye and just do a scallop all the way same way here that's the top of the pocket and do 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 so you get the idea of what's happening here and then all that's left to do is just to cut out So here she is, ta da! Here at last. And she's big. But we like that, we like that. I've had to clear my whole desk to fit her on, but that's okay. And uh, I'll just kind of go through kind of quickly what's happening here. So I. You may have seen this on Instagram uh, and I just put a wee pocket here. I have an envelope, an accordion envelope, which I had recently been watching Le Café Craft. If you don't follow her, go and follow her on YouTube. She's fantastic. And um, yeah, so there's three pockets here. And what I did was because there is a good amount of uh, space in here. I, whenever I flipped the page over, things kind of came flying out. So I've made an extra flap at the top here. And all that is is a strip of the map paper and a bit of uh, the poly pockets there. And I've just shaped it into like a flap, glued it on and then stuck some velcro on it and I had these um, these little brads forever in my drawer and because I've been obviously tidying up and purging and doing all sorts I found these so I thought they would be nice sitting on there and just hide the velcro slightly so anyway that works a treat I've done it on the two there and I've left that one blank for the tabs or tags rather and then I remember I got these pockets here with just the standard pockets at the top and I, when I went to put these on of course they didn't match up the holes didn't match up so I added some of the map paper and just made my own so that that covered up all those holes so remember I did that and I've just got scraps in here that I love and want to keep again uh, two pockets in this one and I have added the brads just to keep them a wee bit more secure and I put them on before I glued them onto this page these are some collage elements from other people um, I think these are from uh, Char the ones at the back and these are from Liz Constable from Book Art Studios that I had so I've put them in uh, the photo booth the Tim Holtz photo booth and then I have another folder with cards and various envelopes and things that I really love in there I didn't keep anything that I don't that I don't think I'll use uh, in this folder. Uh, I have also got I also made rather this huge pocket and this is for my painted 
paper scraps that you have lying around and it's basically a massive I made a frame put a poly pocket in the back so I could see what was in there and then I put a gusset on it and uh, added that on and it's the same principle as the other the folders that I've made and uh, that works a treat as well and then I've got a folder for some of my small faces some photographs of real relatives and then this one here is basically just the uh, the 12 by 12 card stock that you get in a pad and I cut it into scallops like this and uh, just want, I wanted something that I could put my tea dyed paper in uh, just, just to look through without too much hassle. The whole point of this folder is to make things easy and to, to make it easy to look through and so that's all I did with that and I, uh, added a bit of strength here, uh, a bit of velcro and that just folds down like that and then it attaches and I've got a wee pull there and that just folds flat like that and then I have my nature this is the start of my nature thing so I've got birds and I've got animals and flowers I've not filled this yet and these are some other like butterflies and bits and pieces and that's the back page. I don't actually know if I'm going to put anything on this because I'm not sure if I'd be able to put any more into this. But as things get used up, eh, there'll be more space for other things to go into. <coughs> Excuse me. And yeah, that's it. So I thought I'd quite like to... Uh, collage the front of this because it's just looking a little bit bare even though I like that I, and this <coughs> excuse me <coughs> this book's actually not going anywhere it's only going to stay in here so I don't mind it being the gator mouth that it is and it might actually be able to stand up on my shelf like that and I can rifle through and look in, you know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, so what I might do is take the front cover off and we'll do a bit of collage up here, I think. So I've gathered up some scraps. I'll just bring you in a bit closer. And I thought I would actually just uh, glue everything on top of uh, another piece of paper so that I'm not totally committed to gluing onto this. So I thought maybe I could, uh, you know, use that. I think as well um, these holes I might put some eyelets in at some point as well. That might make it easier to move the pages over. So that's another thing. But if I showed you everything now, and this video is going to be so long, because it's long already, and um, I don't want to be any more, any longer than it is. So I'm going to use the matte gel to stick everything on. And let's get started.
we have made it at last. Yoo -hoo! So I have put an extra layer of matte gel over the top so everything's protected and I just want to say thanks so much for sticking by this mammoth video that we have going on here. I am just so happy to get this finished. Um, obviously I'll need to maybe make some repairs over over time and all of that but that's that's fine. I've got the basics down and I'm quite happy with it. Perhaps I might find another solution to these rings. Uh, I might you know over time bind this uh, another way but anyway for now I am so happy with it it means that everything that I love is in this book I know where to get it it's freed up so much space in my my wee studio here I, I've had a whole desk just filled with paper that I don't need all of it so um, to hone that down and to just have uh, lovely pieces of paper that I really love then that's that's just fine um, so yeah let's see how this goes and if you make your own maybe you won't make one as big as this but this is going to stay in here it's not going anywhere and I can use little envelopes like this if I'm taking you know taking myself away for the day haha -ha. When the day comes when we're able, able to do that, that'll be great. And uh, I can shove some, some things in that. So thank you so much again and we will see you in the next one. Bye!